Dutch East India Company, showing for the first time Australia rising up out of the Indian Ocean. And there are great decorative wall maps, globes and atlases that adorned European homes and public buildings. The exhibition culminates in the two superpowers, Britain and France, led by their master cartographers, Cook and Bougainville, Flinders and Freycinet, vying for bases on the new continent. There are chronometers and other instruments used by these navigators, and James Cook's own first maps of Tahiti, New Zealand, and of the east coast of Australia. Matthew Flinders' brilliant surveys of the Bass and Torres Straits, alongside the beautiful and useful maps of the French. The final word is given to Flinders, who survived imprisonment during the Napoleonic Wars long enough to publish his map Terra Australis or Australia, so naming a continent. We have, I think, developed uh, an extraordinary robust uh, content for the show, which in about 135 items tells the story of not only how Australia was mapped,